Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Leading Change Workshop. And I'm giving you a little uh, introduction. My name is Ayako Huang. I have been uh, teaching at MUM since 2012. And I teach uh, organization behavior in different level from a BA until the PhD level. And also I teach in organization change leadership, specific in the leadership and teamwork. And another subject is a sustainable community development. So every year we have a different project with the city hall regarding to the sustainable project. And today we will be focused mainly on leading change. We want to know why it's important to start this subject. Because back to, let's just see 2000. 17, which is last year. How many stores you are familiar that have closed a lot of stores? For example, let's see the Sears. 98 stores were closed last year. Okay, so let's see another Macy store. Everybody had been to Macy. Macy had been closed 68 stores last year. Okay. So what happened? Why close? Why so many retailer stores are closing? Internet. internet. Why is internet important? Because let's see another uh, statistic numbers. Fortune 500. That was the big corporations, but only half percent of the corporations still exist, which means half of the company are not longer existed. Why? Because they don't change. They don't change the way to, to make up for the technology, not only the technologies. They have a lot, like a process of doing things, business model, market. They have lots of changes. Look, how many people have been using this type of camera before? Maybe 10 years ago, we're still using this type of camera, right? But can you still see this type of camera nowadays? Hardly. We are using this type of digital camera. So this is the, the force for people to change. This force is related to technologies. Technology force people to have a different product or maybe different uh, industry to make people to rethinking about their business models, right? So how about, how many people recently had been go to the Walmart? We all been to the Walmart. Have you seen changes in the Walmart? What's this? Self-checkout. Self this is the process of being changed. Again, that evolved with technologies. So technology is not only help people to change for the strategic planning, the pro new product, but they also help people to change the process of doing things, right? Let's see another change. Apples from Steve Jobs to King Cook. What change has been done after Tim Cook culture changed. What culture? Steve Jobs is focused on innovation. So he focused on the market, how we do more innovate for the product. But Tim Cook focused on social responsibilities. So his company have been doing a lot of funding or uh, different kind of grants for establish the uh, education systems. So this is a uh, difference between culture change related to people change. And people change that regarded to the value change. Value change may be involved with the culture, organization culture change. So see how many changes we've been talking about. We're talking about strategic change that make people who have a different idea, new opinion, the new product. We're talking about the process of a change in the Walmart. We're talking about a culture change related to the leaders, right? So now I want each one of you to thinking of 
what kind of experiences or you can foresee it in your job, identified what change you will be doing or had been doing, and what caused you to have that kind of a change. Can I, everybody uh, thinking a little bit? And then we can, since now we have a small group, so we can have people to share the opinion or view, OK? So we'll be point this uh, major uh, topic from the uh, Scott. He's mentioned about his change is again related to the technology, the way to deliver the service. And when people facing the change, we'll be talking a lot, especially for the next session, the whole session we're talking about is resistance. Mm -hmm. People are resistant to change. We, we will come in and cover more about the whole change is related to managing people's mindset manage people's emotion, because that all, that all relate to resistance. Very nice. So another one, who was, OK, Diane. OK, this is very another good point. She mentioned about anticipate the changes. We, they are not anticipate that the current uh, system is not working. They need to find another system that can replace the one who is not working. So change can be related to, are you planning for change? Or is it come out with, you know, emerge it? Or is uh, uh, contingency? So that will be the next slide. Next slide we'll be talking about what type of changes we will be going to do it and who will be impact within these changes, okay? Changes, but change is, what is a change? Change is from, how things are done today. Like uh, the way we have a face-to-face -face therapies, like a consultation, and move to internet, using the internet, use the webinar, right? From here, current state to the future state, you got a transition state, okay? This transition is how to move from here to here. Change is external from current state to future state. But during the transition is internal because that is how people feel. How I feel it's too expensive to, to use in the Photoshop. Mm -hmm. That is a psychological process. When the young generation people feel, I don't want to use the digital technologies. That is psychological process. So a lot of stuff are changed. It's related to how people's emotions is ready in order to make this external change happen. Okay. So when we're talking about the change, we are not talking about the process change. We're talking more like a people's change, people's mindset, people's emotions. And that will be the next class sections, but we'll talk more ar around that. But today we'll be focused when we're talking about change. Remember I said you need to lead people to go to current state to future state. That you need to have a, some action plan to make the process of a change. But in order to have this process of a change to be happened, you need to have culture, you need to have policies, your company need to have clear policies, you need to have a reward. When these young, uh, young like, uh, uh, people the consulting through the internet, what kind of reward they will have? What kind of self-recognition they will have? So that is a part of a culture, how you support for the change how your team support for the change, how your peer help each other for the change. Do you create, if they are not having enough skill, do you have a training course for them to get ready? Do you have um, not, only the ch not only having the uh, training courses, how you support it for each other, how you communicate with the people, this need to be changed. Communication is another big point that how to lead people to change because they relate to how people feel about the change. Okay? And also strategies. Strategy is what is the purpose of this change? 
What is needed for this change? Why we need this to be happened? How and who will be involved? Which part people will be doing which kind of uh, responsibilities? And then how people are working together? How you evaluate the changes? What is the objective of changes? This is need to be done before you can send in the students or you know, the, your new app. When you start to implement a new app, you need to know why we need to do that. Who will be doing what? What is the objective? What kind of resources do we need to have? What kind of knowledge do we need to have? Are we currently have that knowledge or not? If we don't have, how are going to have happened? Who can get supported? And then what kind of culture do you have to support that happened? And then remember we're talking about your, your change is planned as your short-term or long-term strategy strategic uh, objective or not. And then emergent, as I say. For example, I want to upgrade my equipment because this is my three years of short-term strategic you know, actions. So this is a plan for change. How about if something neighbor get fired, the warehouse is fired, it's burned it. That is nothing in plan, but I need to up upgrade all the equipment because of unforeseen event happened. I need to change it. Or contingency is like if someone else in the, in the same industry had been changed and you feel in order to have the uh, cutting edge competitive opportunities, you need to also upgrade in your equipment. That is related to contingency. The change is related to what happened that forced you to change it. And yeah. as I say, also the many, what the scale of a change. Change can be very big. Change can be maybe small scales. And take a time, you know, if you want to have a cultural change, that is incremental. You cannot switch right away. It takes time to change people's belief, to change people's values. That is incremental. Transformation is like a radical. We can see now, maybe 10 years ago, can you have an Apple iPad? No. Suddenly, you just have these new technologies. That is radical change. Okay? And the last one is just like um, the phone. We used to have like a smartphone, but suddenly Steve Jobs used the new Apple phone with swapping without a keyboard. That is the last one. The last one, punctuated equilibriums, means you have, a, you have a long period of time is uh, incremental, small, small, small change. And suddenly, you have a radical change. OK? And as I say, you can focus, they have a two types. One is a strategic. We're talking about uh, new technology. Remember we're talking about the digital camera. That is more related to strategy point of view of a change. When we're talking about the operational, we're talking about a lot of stuff, like uh, Rachel Goodman just mentioned about the technologies, how to deliver the service, how to deliver the webcam consultation. That, is, that can relate to strategic and both operation. Okay. Operation is more like uh, the, the process of doing things had been changed. If the layout of the new plan had been changed, that is more like uh, operational. So change can be internal force for the change or external for the change. <coughs> when we're talking about the internal, it's like uh, uh, leadership change. We're talking about small, uh, Management, uh, operational, you know, process of man making things change, that is belong to the internal change, force you to change it. We're talking about all the technology these days, disrupting. That is a strategic change. That is forced by the external force. Governmental policies, more sustainable, and they have a different way of new you know, regulations that force are more strategic. So strategic change is more related to the external change, 
force the company to change. Internal is more related to the operational, how we're doing things to manage within our business model. Business model is more like this, the process doing things, okay? And in order to do that, they would have a different impact. The small stuff for the operational maybe can relate to the small group of a team or some individual people. If it's more related to strategic, it's more related to the whole organizations because that the whole set of a strategic, how leaders want to change the value, the market, they will be involved with more than individual one. So change is just like a driving to the foggy day. How many people are driving in a foggy day? How do you feel? Scare. You have a fear. Why? You don't know what will happen next. You are forcing uncertainty. You don't know, you know, it's uncertainty and also ambiguities. Okay? That's how people process of making the changes. People driving the car, they know the directions, but they couldn't see well because everything you face is uncertainties. And so all the people who are in the car, they get resistance. Am I going to move in more or should I stop here? Because as I say, psychological involvement within here. So succeed to change is why we want to change. What need to be changed? Because we want to improve the state court. If we don't change, we don't survive. Or because we want to continue to improve. That we need to deal, remember we need to drive in the car? Uncertainties. And then you need to get through transition. Remember we're talking about people's psychological, emotional you know, response. And then you can go to the new state court. But unfortunately, most of the company fail around here. Either here, uncertainty, they, they don't want to drive in anymore. Or the people who are driving a car are too scared and resistant to driving more or further. So only 70%, 70% of a change most of the time are fail. 70%, according to the Harvard Business Review and McKenzie's uh, research, 70% fail for most of the you know, company or the changes, it failed. So to this uh, workshop, we want to do is, we want to identify what people relate when they're reacting to the change. Why, why they are resistance, why they are waiting to do it, and what is the reason behind them. And then are we ready for the change? And then we also want to know how we communicate with people during this change process. And the last one, we want to make sure we develop momentum to make the change process more smooth. So this is the four objective that after we finish these four weeks of workshop, we will be gaining all this kind of skill and knowledge. So today we will be define, we already talk a lot of what is a change. And then we want to identify who is the most people who are impact for the change. And then what we need to write the action plan in order to support for our change. So by maybe half hour, we're supposed to finish the lesson one around here. And then next week, we'll be talking about how to communicate when people resist to change, okay? And then the third one, we want to know if you change, how, how are you going to measure, are you success or not? Why is it success, why is it not? And then the last one, we want to measure you apply whenever you learn from these three lecture to imply with your own personal career, and then we can share like what has been done, what is working, what is not working, and then we have a group of a peer to give you more feedback. So it's a process of learning by peer review, okay? So this is the uh, four uh, lesson will be covered for the change. 
And we already mentioned that changing is how people to see in advance. Like uh, this is foggy, we all know it. How you feel about this change. When people see it, why and why need to be changed? And then how they feel about this change? Change can happen. Without seeing the change, or people feel comfortable to change, nothing will happen. You have a lot of resistance. That's why people would say high rate of fail. It's because the people feel, I don't want to commit it to the changes. I don't want to learn the technologies. What is the benefit for me? What is needed? What is the reasons? Change, you need to mention why we need to change to the, your young group of generations. What is the reason need to be changed? Why we need to change? What is the benefit for you to change? When you're talking about the benefit, people are more getting engaged and involved. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to make the tower for the spaghetti and marshmallow. Okay, so you have a marshmallow here. Maybe we can make one team instead of two team. Okay, so you have a marshmallow you have. And then 10 minutes you can do in that. And after that, Maybe I'm run out of time a little bit. I want you one group to broom this broom, and then the broom should be on the top of your tower. Okay? And then, thinking about the cost. When we, when we do this, you are working with your financial team and your product design team, okay? The winner of the team is you can hold it, your tower with the, the blue on the top with less cost. Okay? So this is a charge. Marshmallow, one marshmallow, $2. One spaghetti, $1. Blue is free. Yeah. Last time I played the game, how, how all my students finished the marshmallow before they played it. How, how, many <laughs> how many marshmallows? Everybody make these. How many marshmallows do we have in total? No, no, no. The less you use, the the better because it, well, it's a cost. If I'm going for the tall tower. But you still, when we compare, we are compared to the tallest one with the less cost. Right. Yeah. So if you use what a you lot do? of marshmallows, then you will be most expensive one. Right. right. And then you won't get. Right. But there won't be any strength for height without the marshmallows, yeah, so... Yeah. That is your strategy. Let's see what happens now. Ooh, 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 ooh. So the, you know, if we go, say we went up here, went up here, went up here with the you stabilize. You, what you're doing? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. You're not putting them in evenly. No, wait, wait, hold on. Wait. Yeah. You're not putting them in evenly. So you got to be very careful where you place so could, them. Could we, could we do this? Like. Yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, calculate, wait, wait, calculate. Wait, it's falling. It's going down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how, okay, how many, how much is the charge for your tower? How much, how much do you charge for a hand? No, 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 like uh, the cost <laughs> of you. Because if... No. Fourteen dollars. They've got a twenty-four hour maintenance person holding it up. <laughs> two, be, two people. <laughs> maintenance. You need to yeah, charge the maintenance cost too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and they're no marshmallow. Up, they're holding it. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. And how Twenty-eight dollars. You uh, you still no, hold it. You still you hold cannot it. hold it. No no, it's it's just an invincible. <laughs> yeah, right. You need to put them more. There it goes. <laughs> it's <laughs> falling oh, apart. Yeah. Uh, the, the price is going up. Okay. Uh, oh. right, right. You, you broke the material. Have you break the material? No, you have to pay for it? <laughs> I'm going to send you later to their team. <laughs> yeah. Who designed this? 
You're very good. <laughs> it was by committee. It was a committee. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. There, hold it, okay? Okay, now you are all successful. How much, how, like, uh, can you tell the total cost of this project? $30. Oh, okay. $20? No, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> so they keep you added the cost. Now we need to have the strategic. OK, the strategic had been changed. Now the new market, they want to have lo less cost and taller. So I want to send in some of your team leader. I see you are the one who talk more. So you, you will be come to this team. <laughs> no, and then who was talking most of the time to construct? John? What is this time? <laughs> we, we do the changes, okay? No, what are we doing? We're making them taller and. The both director Dr. Gomez is not here. So they want to enter the low end market, okay? The strategic plan had been changed. They want to go to the low end market. He feels the cost of spaghetti tower, what you guys are doing late now, uh, earlier, is too, too expensive. OK, so they want to change the existing spaghetti tower with lower cost and higher. You need to make it higher and less cost. But how do you make it less cost? I don't know. We don't know. It's a cold, <laughs> unforcing <laughs> events. But you're, it actually has to be like less than $32, less than what, what the cost is now? Probably. But if you still couldn't do it, we can. Well, we can do a little bit, but but the highest win, the, next one the highest win, win. but still cost, yeah, cost. So still have a cost. Yeah. You still need thinking. But we're making yeah, a new one. You're yeah. making a new one by improving yeah. this one. Right. Yeah. But we have to improve this. In other words, you need to be improving this. Can our new one be no, different? improving. Yeah. This is an incremental. Okay, we are doing an incremental changes. Improving. No, this is. Oh, it has to be a whole one. Yeah, whole one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was, that was a perfect way to get it all done. Well, I can hit a case layer. Only if we could use a stick of balance. Yeah. We should bring it down to move right, right, right. Well, yeah. It doesn't have to be cheaper than we've actually spent so far. Yeah. It has to be less expensive. You need to be less expensive and taller. Less expensive. Can't you say yes? We have to spend less just, money. Less spend money, but if you really couldn't spend less money, but you, you know, you, you will be re, at least remaining the cost, mm -hmm. like uh, within this structure. If you couldn't add it more money, then you, you had to rethinking, yeah, like uh, how to make this taller oh, with without add it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's right. well, well, good enough. Okay. okay. So let's, let's give everybody a big hand because you did a good job. Okay. <laughs> now let's go back. So we want to thinking about when I ask you to reply it. Have you thinking about the situation? Have you thinking about the people and role, especially for the leaders? Have you thinking the issue of analysis? So when we're talking about the situations, when I ask you to change, have you seen what will be changed? You guys have been, have been thinking because I asked you to have a lower cost, right? Taller. So using this need to be changed. And then how much is need to change it, your current systems? How much? If you need to, some, some thinking maybe they need to tear down and restart it. Some may be thinking the different way to do implement it. So this is the way we really need to think when you're talking about the changes. You need to think in what need to be changed, why need to be changed, and then how much need to be changed. Okay? And who will be impact for this change? The whole team are impact because you are the financial team must be the, the person impact most because you're talking about the cost. Right? 
who will be the main person that will be affect whenever the change it is. When we're talking about the app, maybe the web designer will be the impact. When we're talking about to change the deliver service, the new generations, the young generations, the, the new one will be most of impact for the changes. And then after you need to thinking about who will be served for the change agent. Change agent is the person who are in charge for the whole change assistance. Oftentimes it's the project manager, okay, or some leaders. But most of the time, when we're talking about a change agent, it's the person who are in charge with the whole change process. Does that have to be the case? Can there be enough communication within a team that you don't need somebody supervising that? You always need to have a change agent. And we'll be talking about in the next lecture why you need to have that. The person who are major sponsor for everything. Okay, so change agent means the sponsor for the changes. But not the decision maker with regard to yeah. the changes. Yeah. And then it's very important. Yeah, that it's not a decision maker? Decision maker, oftentimes in the real, you know, the real cooperations, the changes are decided by the top management team. And then they informed the stakeholders, the people like a key, you know, the key person who impact to do what they need to do. And that is why fail happened. Because the people don't feel, you feel the change is needed, but not from my personal point of view, from the maybe young generations. I don't feel this is, what, what can I be benefit for that? What I need to be changed anyway, is your decisions. So that's why people are resistant to change. It's not their decisions, it's being informed. So that is very important how decision making had been changed. Who decided, wh when you're making these decisions, is a participant decision making together with a group of the people who will be involved, or are you just informed that this need to be changed? That is the, another major key in order to successfully to transition for the changes. Okay, very good point. And after that, you need to thinking about if we don't change it, what will happen? If the, uh, your uh, online deliver uh, company, if we don't use the app, what will be changed? What, what will be going on? We talk about the digital camera, the whole business disappeared. We're talking about you know, how industry is the changes. What other people have been doing had been changed. When we're talking about the online delivered, so uh, Walmart started doing like an online deliver. Every, every supermarket started to do the online deliveries. If you don't do it, what will happen? The competition will take over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what other you need to consider? So when I ask you to do this, you know, have you saw other decisions rather than just thinking how tall, how is the cost? Maybe you need to thinking about what is the whole structure of the foundations, rather than really focus on what need to be done. We had to we had to redefine our structure. Yes. Yeah, and then that, that was primary before we Good. Had to think about cost. Or because this is the first step of a strategic plan. What need to be done? You know what is the need? What is the objective of doing that, and how to meet this objective? That is the very well done. Then when we're talking about, I ask you to change, right? The second time, I'm talking about this. This is the uh, most famous uh, change model from the Placid uh, company, consulting company. We call Eckert. Eckert is, Eckert is where you feel you need to change. Number one, people need to aware this needs to be changed, otherwise company will not survive. So if you are, you are a, the young generations, they need to feel this needs to be done in different ways. Otherwise, nothing will happen. And then the second, we say desire, also we call motivation or commitment. How much the person will be involved 
that is awareness. Remember, we're talking about emotions? That is in this stage. How emotionally people were involved to, in order to be changed will be in here. And this is, again, most major part of the changes that fail in here. Because people don't want to change. They resist it. Why? They're afraid because they may lose the power. They're afraid of uncertainty. We can talk about that in the next sessions. And the people have the knowledge to change. I ask you to, to make the, the Torah and laugh. Do you have the knowledge to picture of the tower? Have you calculate? Not really. You just keep doing that. <laughs> and do you have the ability to implement the skill? Do you have the ability to make sure this will be really happened? And then reinforcement. That is how to sustain the changes. If people know what is need to change, and they, they are waiting to make a commitment to change, they have a knowledge, they have ability, they will be retain the changes, change happened. Okay? If I ask you to do everything and you don't know anything, you just know you need to be changed, and you want to do it, you have knowledge, you have ability, but you are confused. Why need to be changed? Why I need to be have less cost and taller? I'm confused. Okay? But if you know how to do it, but you are not you are not willing to do it. Okay. I ask you, you are not willing to do it, you have knowledge, you have everything, you are resistant to change. I'm not going to do that. So people resist, nothing will be happened. But if you have everything, but you don't have knowledge. You are fair. You are really fair, like what we're going on, because you don't have knowledge to change. But if you have everything, I'm sorry, if you have like, uh, if you have everything, but you don't have ability, I ask you keep doing this, 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 I say, I know how to do it, but I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> you get frustrated, okay? You got really frustrated because you don't know how to do it, but you want to do it. If everything is okay, but you don't have the reinforcement, we were talking about that next, uh, this uh, in the next uh, section as well, people tend to go back to the old habits. We tend to go back to old habits all the time. Thank you. Thank you very much for participation today. And I'm looking forward to see you next week. And we do the role play for resistance. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. And please fill in so I know what kind of game I'm going to give you. 